The Joy of Chaos in Retirement Just by living our lives, we learn what we like most in life. We learn to add things we love to life and remove things we don't. This is the beauty of retirement we all hope for. For most of us, retirement means we are in charge of our day. We can sit home all day and watch TV or drive up the coast and watch the waves crash on the beach. Or maybe we need to clean the garage. We may have some physical limitations as we age, but otherwise we are in charge of our day, hopefully. But if we stick strictly to only what we want to do in retirement, our days may eventually become routine, less exciting or even boring. In fact, if we turn the things we love most into a routine in retirement, it may not be as fun eventually. We may eventually want to add something unpredictable, some unpredictable excitement into our lives. If we look back at the times in our lives when we have felt most alive, they were often not part of our old routine, and they rarely involved only pleasure. The days when we felt most alive often involved many different kinds of emotions, both positive and negative. When I was about 13 years old, I fell in love with a girl in the neighborhood. She wasn't my first crush, but this time it turned out to be painful. There was another boy in the picture, and she was deciding which of us would be her boyfriend. I felt physical pain like I'd been punched in the gut. In just a few days, I felt fear, jealousy, hopelessness, despair, and deep desire. I also felt love, what I thought was love at the time. There are very few memories from that age that stick out in my mind so clearly. Eventually, she picked me and we lasted about two weeks. There was something about the chaos, thoughts, hormones, and emotions bouncing around inside me that made me aware that I was alive. I was mostly on autopilot at age 13, but during those few weeks, I knew I was alive. I hated the feeling at the time, but it helped me survive several failed relationships as an adult. The next time those feelings arose in me, I knew they were temporary and I would be okay eventually. The level of perception in moments like these are heightened and intense. You never forget, but time heals all wounds. Knowing this, I no longer have fear of falling in love as an adult. So chaos not only makes you feel alive, but it also teaches you something on the other side. Six years later, on my 19th birthday, I bought myself a very fast sports car, an older 911 Targa. I learned to drive it in the winding curves of Highway 9 in the Santa Cruz Mountains in California. I was driving so fast, floating through curves, in four-wheel drifts that could only be controlled with the throttle. I was pushing that car as fast as I could and it was very exciting. It felt like I was living at the edge of death in the corners. It was more exciting than skydiving, which I did a few years later. The potential for death heightens my senses. So what is it about those times in our lives when we felt most alive? Those times of my life seem to be when I was sailing through uncharted waters times when I was out of control of the outcome because I had never been there before. These moments are disorienting and new and we are taking actions in a vacuum of experience or knowledge. We are living in a heightened sense of awareness, re relying on intuition and perception. These moments induce a sense of chaos in our life. So how do we stay alive in retirement instead of floating along in only routines? I purposely introduced chaos into my life. I'm going to be dead someday, but while I'm alive, I want to feel alive. Maybe not every day, but I'm not interested in just safe, predictable routines. I want to put myself into situations where I have never been before. My name is Dan, and I've purposely added chaos to my life. I will explain how I added chaos to my life, and then I'll suggest a few other ways people add chaos. You'll get the idea. Okay, ways to add chaos to your life. Travel. I left the United States 15 plus years ago and I slow travel the world now. I've lived in and visited 67 countries so far. If you've traveled internationally in your life, you may know what chaos feels like. There are 7,000 languages spoken around the world today. If you walk into a restaurant, there's no guarantee that people will speak English to you. So your most basic needs create chaos when you travel. You might be picking your meals by pointing at something someone else is eating. You might not even know what it is, but it just looks good to you. 
You might be shopping in grocery stores when you don't recognize the foods they're selling. You might have to search on YouTube to learn how to cook something you found in the store. Every time I enter a new country I've never been before, the level of chaos in my life increases dramatically. I spend the next few weeks or months learning how everything works. Once I know how things work, it's time to go to a new country. Travel is about self-education to me. But rather than read it in books, I like to put my feet on the ground where I can smell, taste, feel, and see the differences. So the world is my teacher. Technology. How people make money on the internet is fascinating to me. The internet is one of the most chaotic things I know about. And the way people are making money on the internet changes faster than I can keep up with. So I'm constantly confused and have to study to figure out what's going on. But just like travel, I don't just read about how people make money on the internet. I started my own online business where I use what I learn to make money on the internet. My webpage, vagabondbuddha.com, teaches people my first passion, how to travel the world and retire cheap in paradise. Once my online business started making money, people started to ask how to make money on the internet. They wanted the same freedom I have the freedom to travel the world without having a job. So I posted a course about how to make money online with my favorite hobby while I travel the world. It just teaches what I've learned how to make money with my hobby online. So my natural curiosity about the world and the internet has ended up paying for my favorite hobbies, travel and learning about the internet. So what are some of the other things you can do to introduce chaos into your life? In order to create chaos in your life, it should be something that takes you out of your routine and out of your comfort zone. So think of the things you have avoided your whole life. Things that make you feel uncomfortable are going to be the best things to do if you want to create the joy of chaos in retirement. So what are you afraid of? What about falling in love again? If you've been single for years, maybe it's time to fall in love again. Maybe it's time for you to throw a profile up online and see what the cat drags in. What about public speaking? If you have social fears uh, or fear of public speaking, maybe it's time to join the Toastmasters. Toastmasters is an organization that helps people learn to be excellent public speakers. So you'll be around people that have overcome the same fears as you. What about hiking? If you have a fear of heights, maybe it's time to join a hiking club. Many cities have hiking clubs on Facebook. You can also try using the social web page called meetups.com. Explore your creative side. If you have a fear of not being a creative type, maybe it's time to take an art class, learn an instrument, finger paint, learn to sing or dance, just Google courses in your area. Martial arts. If you're afraid of being physically assaulted by people, maybe it's time to put yourself into a martial arts course where you can learn how to protect yourself and build self-confidence. Of course, you should seek your doctor's approval before getting involved with anything that could put your life at risk. But if you can pick something that will create some upset, confusion, or chaos in your life, you're likely to experience the joy that arises when you get outside the comfort zone of your routine. Thanks for reviewing my report, The Joy of Chaos in Retirement. Please subscribe to VegabondBuddha.com or our YouTube channel to watch us move around the world 15 years and 67 countries so far. Make sure to grab a free copy of my ebook, How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 15 Years. It has most of my best tips and tricks. This is Dan of Vagabond Awake, the YouTube channel for VagabondBuddha.com. Thank you for stopping by. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? Hey, if you liked our video, please like, comment, or subscribe. Any of that would help our business. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Click the link in the notes below this video to get a copy of this content.